All right, you guys, I have an intention for us tonight, or today, depending on what time you actually do watch this at. And I think it's it's been interesting being locked indoors, especially down in San Diego. They closed the beaches today. They um, closed the trails. You can't be in groups at all. It's pretty nuts. It's deep. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and it's really gotten me to look past the thinking about things and actually dive into the feelings. And I actually read this little excerpt that really resonated with me. So I wanted to get into this. So let's see. I'll show you I was under Google Chrome. All right. When we're interested in coming home to ourselves to explore the borders of reality that are starting to shift and change, when our mind has guided us this far, we realize that thinking is not the full picture. Thinking often gives us the impression that we are going somewhere or that we are inhabiting a place that we are not. It might give us the impression that we are important, wonderful, awful, spiritual, fat, skinny, right, stupid, smart, advanced, the best, the worst, or perhaps all the above in the space of an hour. Our thinking might also give us the impression that this is the sum total of reality and that this is what life is. It is not. There is more. To go deeper, start to experience rather than merely intellectualizing. And the easiest way to start to experience life is to feel. There is nothing imagined about feeling. It is palpable and real. You literally feel what is going on inside your body. The physical brings us home to the temple that is our body. The physical is an embodied sense that steers us home to our physical selves and allows us to touch much, much more. This may seem straightforward enough, but the problem is, however, that many of us have forgotten to feel. So this is the practice for tonight. So get your mat, get your blocks. I'll meet you in standing, all right? Feet hip width distance apart. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. So starting in standing, we're going to make this practice really easy. By the way, my name is Brittany. If you're new here, this is Robin. Hi. <sighs> Maybe just side out for a second and feel into your feet. Like I read, we have to almost disconnect from the thinking to really hone in to what we're feeling. So start, just shake it out a little bit. You can jump up and down if you really want to feel like you're landing. Okay, pick up your toes, fan them out really wide. Lower them down one toe at a time, starting from the outside, working your way in. See if you can feel your weight going forward into your toes and then back into your heels. Maybe take a couple rocks forward and back. Notice if you can find that spot right in the middle. Notice if your quads are turned on or if they're actually relaxed. Envision where your pelvis is in space. Maybe it's tilting back behind you or you feel it tilting underneath you. Find a zone there so it will look like a small pelvic tilt. Feel out what spot is best for your spine, your low back, where you feel a little bit of engagement in your low belly. Take a breath in, roll your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, relax them down your back. I want you to take your left hand and put it on top of your left thigh. See if you can actually touch your thigh. And notice what sensations you have going on there. You can close your eyes again. You can use all five fingers or maybe just one. And then do the other side, but this time put your hand to your glute. No one's watching you, so you can just do whatever feels right. Okay, tap into the feeling, not so much about the thinking. Feel your container maybe now left to right. Notice what's happening and maybe go front to back, feeling into your waistline your back body, and then relax your hands all the way back down. Settle into your breath. Fill yourself up. Take an open mouth exhale. 
Try one more time. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Keep your eyes closed. Take a breath in. Reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, pull your thumbs into your heart space. Let your thumbs actually touch your sternum. Lift your sternum up towards your thumb so your spine is long. I want you to think about someone to dedicate, dedicate this practice to. Someone that's outside of your home that might need this intention and this love more than you. Or maybe it's to someone in your house. <laughs> All right, make that intention now with the breath in. Share it out, open mouth, exhale. Squeeze your legs, stay tight in your core. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, take your hands all the way down. If you can interlace your hands behind your back, take a little grip, okay? If you need more support, widen out your feet. Take a breath in, or you can pull onto your low back. Lift up your heart. Breathe out, slowly fold your spine down. If you have the grip, keep lifting your fingertips and your knuckles up towards the sky over your head. Let your crown drift down towards the floor. Shift your weight forward into your toes. Check in with that balancing weight forward and back. If this grip ever starts to bug your shoulders, you want to think about lifting your shoulder heads away from your ears, so off and away from the ground. You can always let it go, though. Let your hands come to a surface. Grab your blocks. Catch your breath. Stay in your fold. Feel into your hamstrings. Breathe into your low back. Take a breath in. Shine your heart forward. Take a halfway lift. Breathe out. Fold it all the way down. Bend into your knees. Roll it through your spine. One vertebrae at a time. Once your head stacks over your shoulders, take that big reach overhead. Fill up the room with your energy. Exhale, hands into your heart space. Press your palms in together so you feel this energy coming in through your front line. Take one more breath in, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold it all the way down. Don't forget to turn your watch on, do not disturb. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Don't forget to set your watch to yoga. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands down. Step back into a tabletop shape. So shoulders are right over your wrists. Your hips are over your knees. Start to tuck your toes under. Take a breath in, lift your tail, pull your shoulder heads back, lift up your chin. Good. Breathe out and round into your spine. One more time. Inhale, lift your tail, lift your head, chin off your chest, heart forward. Exhale, round into your back. Come into a neutral spine just to start to walk your hands forward to palm print or so. You can widen your knees if it feels better for you too. Shift your weight over to your left. Push your hands into your hands. Push your hips all the way back. Take some circles. You can make these as small or as big as you'd like. Pausing maybe just in a half circle going right to the left. So it's almost like a pendulum. Feel to those tiny corners of your glutes. Try to even yourself out. Move with your breath. Inhaling to center. Exhaling all the way over. Do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Breathe in and come back to the center. Okay, you can bring your hands back just a little bit more. Tuck your toes under if you flattened your feet. Take a breath in. Gather up your low core and your belly. Exhale, lift up your knees. Push into your hands. Find a downward facing dog. You can begin to pedal into your hands, your feet. If this posture is a little too much for your shoulders, come back down to your knees and take more of a puppy pose. Okay, so that's hips right over your knees again. Close your eyes, feel into your hands. You should almost feel like you have some gecko fingerprints, right? And really push into the knuckles. So you've got your fingertips, your knuckles, and the heel of your hand actually pushing all the way in. Is that alleviate any wrist pressure? Let your head dangle down towards the floor so that your body looks like a little apron. You take a breath in, lift your heels up, gaze forward at your thumb. Exhale, bend your knees, walk it up nice and slow. Feet can land hip width or wider. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold yourself down. Push into your feet, inhale, rise all the way up, come up to stand. 
Exhale, hands into your heart. Okay, take a breath in, pick up your chest. Exhale, sit low into your hips. That doesn't even have to be that low, but you do want to feel your glutes starting to turn on, just a little bit of heat for your quads and your hamstrings. Keep your spine as neutral as you can. Notice if you tend to do more of that uh, cow shape or a cat shape, find that spot somewhere in the middle. Notice if your breath has shortened. See if you can find that long, smooth inhale and a smooth exhale to match. And that could always be out of your mouth if you need to release any heat. Stay for one more. Good, take a breath in, push through your feet, rise all the way up, reach up. Exhale, bring your fingertips forward, find your blocks or at least something that can help bring the ground up to you. Step your right, or hmm, let's do, <laughs> we always screw this one up. Okay, we're gonna always start with the right foot forward and we're gonna mirror or face foot because it's a little different for them, okay? So we're gonna go all the way down, right foot in front, wherever you are at home, it's always gonna be first. Okay, sink down into your hips. You can keep the ground lifted towards you by using your blocks, or you can lower your hands down to the floor if that feels better for you. From the side, that looks like your shin is perpendicular to the floor. You keep driving your pubic bone forward. Lift up through your heart. You can let your head dangle down towards the floor. Breathe. Tune into the feeling of your hip flexor, of your glute. This doesn't have to be hard. Yoga doesn't have to be hard, but it should be a way to tune into yourself. Sometimes that can be hard. Be compassionate on yourself. Again, if your brain just starts to pull you away, focus on the breath, how that feels those fresh inhales, really grounding exhales. Last one here. And start to walk yourself up onto your blocks. You can walk yourself all the way up so that your shoulders are over your hips. Once you find a little stability, play with lifting up your right heel. So you're gonna push into the big toe mound. Your foot might not go into plantar flexion all the way, but see if you can tuck your back toes under, keep lifting up your heel. You'll start to feel your quads fire up. You can hold that or start to play with the reach. Focus on the balance, plugging your low belly in towards your spine. Take a big breath in, big breath out, lower your heel down. A big inhale. Exhale and just swing your elbows back so they squeeze nice and tight by your side. So it almost looks like you have little robot arms. Not a whole lot, but you do want to feel this little energy that's hugging towards your midline. Feel your scapula pulling together, your elbows magnetized together. Have a little energy in your hands as if you were actually gripping a weight. This also doesn't need to feel easy, it can look easy, but there's a lot of energy happening right here. See if you can almost like feel and play with this energy between your hands. Take a big breath in, big breath out, relax your arms forward. You can use your blocks, lift up your left knee, your back knee, take a little hop all the way up towards the top of the mat, inhale, take a halfway lift, long spine just to reset. Breathe out, hold it down. You can do a sway left to right with your hips. Shake that side off. We'll try it again on the other side. So it'll be left foot in front. <laughs> okay. All right, breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, left foot is in front. Right foot goes back. We lost connection on Instagram, but that's okay. All right, getting into it. You can lean your heart forward so that you're looking over the ledge of your foot and your shin. Keep your knees stacked right over your ankle. Okay, you can keep your hands on the floor, on the blocks. Think heart forward, chin down. Breathe into it, all the way through the back of the neck. This side could feel different, could feel the same. 
what feelings can you use right? or what can you identify and give name to not that you need to attach to those names but once you can identify them sometimes you can release them and that includes the word tight the mobile give one more breath here Nice. And then start to walk yourself up onto your blocks. Shift your shoulders over your hips. Really ground into your toes, right? Plug down through your back knee. Lower your left hip down so it stays level with your right. You focus on feeling the stability and balance. Your back toes can be tucked under. Then lift up your left heel. You can stay right there. Focus on hugging in towards your center line. Play with lifting up your arms. You can lift up your arm with your heel down. Take one more full breath. Good. Breathe out. Lower your heels down. Take your elbows in tight by your side. Like you're squeezing them back in together. Keep lifting up your heart. Draw your core in. Right? A little bit of pulsing energy through your hands as if you're actually squeezing a weight or a ball, something significant. You could even actually take your block if you really wanted to. But I think your mind is just as creative as mine. See if you can imagine that feeling for one more full cycle. And inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold yourself forward with blocks or without. Lift up your left knee. Take a little step all the way up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. Do a little bend and walk into one knee at a time. Feel into your hamstrings and your outer hips. Come back to center, bend into both of your knees. Slowly roll up through your spine, leaving your blocks there if you like. Okay. So as you're stacked all the way up, come down to your Tadasana one more time. Tailbone down, heart lifted, thighs slightly turned on, breath fully cycling through. You can release any of your breath out through your mouth if you need to. Let it all smooth over. Cool. Blink your eyes open if they're closed. Bring your hands to your hips. You can really feel this out. Okay, like I said, right foot's always gonna be in front, whatever you do at home. Okay, so we're gonna do this way. Okay, it doesn't have to be a big step back, but start to walk your foot up if you'd like. You can keep a wider stance. If this feels too easy, if you're doing a side body stretch, you can actually step your left foot all the way behind your right, just for this little pose. I'll show this one, you can stick on that one. Okay, take a breath in, reach all the way up. When you breathe out, hook onto your left wrist with your right hand, lean all the way over to your right. Feel into your side body, into your outer hips. The more you push, you can bend into your front leg if your legs are all the way crossed. Consented. Feel that outward reach just as much as the dive in. If you want, you can bend your elbow, hug onto it, get more of a tricep stretch. One more breath. Good. Take a breath in, release your arms, take a big step out if your arms are crossed, and then start to turn all the way over to your left. Okay, so I'll show you from the front. We're going to stand in this star pose. Okay, tail down still. Your toes can be out. Reach all the way out through your hands. Breathe. Just embody yourself. You're going to take a big breath in. Breathe out. Pull your hands in towards your heart center. Add a soft bend to your knees. Tilt your toes forward if you need to. Hold it all the way down. Okay, bend into your knees. Inhale. Start to roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale to land back in your tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, pull your thumbs right down to the center. Into your hips. 
Bend to your knees. Inhale, slowly roll it up. Exhale to land, shoulders soft. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, soften to your knees, roll it forward. And this time to stay. All right. From this posture, you can reach all the way through your hands or leg if you like. And you notice that shift of weight forward and back, forward and back into your toes. Alright. Start to walk your hands forward. Take a breath in as you halfway lift. Bend into your knees softly, hands to your hips. Energize your whole core to come all the way up. Nice. When you breathe out, relax your hands down. Point your right toes forward to the top of the mat. You can bend into your knees. Lean forward and take a big step all the way up to the top. Not that hard, right? Collect it all in with a breath in. Shoulders up. Exhale, relax them down your back. Let's try it again. Inhale. Exhale, relax your arms. We'll try the other side. And left foot's in front, right foot goes back. So you can start with this wider stance. See what that feels like as you reach up and over. If you want something different, a little bit more, go cross your left foot or right foot behind your left. Take a breath in, find some length. Breathe out, squeeze your side bend. A variation of a half nose. Keep your chin off your chest. Low belly strong. Shoulders level. You could add your tricep stretch by bending your top elbow, hooking onto it. Last one. Good. Inhale, release your grip. Reach all the way up. Take a step out as you breathe out. Okay, toes can be wide. Fingertips active. I want you to imagine that you could actually reach all four corners of your room, wherever you are, with soft shoulders, a relaxed face. Squeeze your legs. This time, keep your glutes soft. Can you tune into exactly where your belly button is and where the source of breath is filling up into your body? As if your toes and fingertips could really reach and extend all the way out, take a breath in. As you breathe out, hands in towards your heart center, pivot your toes forward, heels out, soft bend at your knees as you dive in. Bend into your knees, inhale, slowly roll up. Exhale, shoulders over your hips, relax. Inhale, sweep your arms out wide, fill up your space. Exhale, hands in towards your heart center, fold it down with a flat spine. And by, knee, by flat, I mean neutral, okay? Bend your knees, inhale, roll it up. Exhale, just to stay. Let your mind neutralize. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands in towards your heart. Lean forward. Lead with your chest. Leading with love. Let yourself come down and relax in this fold. This time, you can do a little movement. Shifting left to right into your feet or working your way over towards one foot with both of your hands. Hang out. You have six rounds of breath, so make good use of this present time. So that could just look something like this. After that last round of breath, bring your hands in towards your center, bend your knees. This time, take your hands underneath your shoulders and push your spine long. Make it really active. Yeah, push into your feet like you're trying to split your mat apart. And at the same time, try to bubble it up underneath you. Take your hands to your hips, rise all the way up through your crown, using the back of your heart. When you breathe out, point your left toes forward, just bend into your knee. Lean your heart that way. Take a big step up. Take a breath in. And a breath out. 
Closing it out, inhale, reach all the way forward. Exhale, bring your hands in towards your heart space. Sit back low into your chair again. And when you look down, see that your feet are hip width distance apart, and same thing with your knees. Okay, bring your left hand to your low back, and bring your right arm in front. All right, we're still sticking with the right arm in the front. And what I want you to feel is like you're hooking onto your thigh, maybe not all the way onto your hamstring, but let your forearm rest on top of your thighs, right above your knees. From the side, you'll feel your spine get long. Take a breath in. When you breathe out, twist towards your left. All right, so you're looking over your shoulder, trying not to let your hips sway with you. And if you can feel this little energy, your knees widening and pushing into your hands and into your forearm, take one more breath. Good, breathe out, come back to the center. You can fold forward, let your quads rest. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Bend into your knees or rise with a long spine. Come all the way up. Exhale just to relax your shoulders. Inhale one more time. Good. Exhale, sit back into your chair. This time, right hand's going to come to your low back at your sacrum. Left arm's going to reach in front. Okay, you're leaning that far forward, yes, to really feel this connection. Push your knees wide so you get this outer glute strength turned on. Take a breath in, breathe out, look over your right shoulder. Notice if this bottom shoulder wants to dive forward with you. If you can energize your shoulder blade onto your back even better, take a breath in and a breath out. Unwind, let yourself dive in. Hands to the blocks if you need to, give yourself some room. Bend into your knees one at a time again. Right, bend into both of your knees. Rise up really slow. All right, so once you've landed, assess whether or not you feel like you have balance today. Maybe before trying, but stay close to a counter if you feel like you need it today. Otherwise, we're going to stand on your right foot first, okay, and then you're going to pick up your left foot. Stretch out your quads, right? Keep your tailbone down, belly button pulled in. You're trying to imagine your heel can actually come in towards your center. Try to line up your knees together too. So if you're starting to actually let your thigh come forward, you're not gonna get the full stretch. Let your knee come backwards. Hold on to the counter for balance. Focus on the feeling of your standing foot. Last breath. Good, relax your foot down. Let's switch it over. Standing on your left side, pick up your right foot. Just to give yourself a little standing stretch. Neutralize your pelvis, so tailbone down, belly button pulled in. Keep your heel plugged in towards your glute as best as you can. It doesn't need to touch, but that's where you're going energetically. Slide your knee backwards so it matches up with your standing leg. Breathe. Last one. Relax your grip. Let your foot come down. Walk it out a bit. You can shuffle it around. You can feel it to the soles of your feet. Okay. Now let's try standing feet together. A little bit more challenging on balance. You can always widen out if you like. Deep breath in. Reach high to the sky. Exhale. Fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. When you breathe out, bend into your knees a lot. Come back into your tabletop shape. You widen out your knees, bring your toes together. You can push your hips back on top of your heels and even stay right there if that feels like enough for you. Otherwise, you can let your chest come down. If you start to get any pinching on your hips, I'd say take the top of your thighs round them outwards so you're getting some extra rotation in your hips before you lean your heart forward. You could also put a block underneath your chest. Give yourself some space. Take the second block, put it underneath your head. Imagine your hips were an anchor for you. You get this deep knee flexion, deep hip flexion, and your spine just gets 
gravity to work on it. It gets your breath. Rock your head left to right. Then come back to center in stillness. Bend out your fingers. Take a breath in as you lift yourself up. You can walk your knees in together again, just doing some sways of your hips left to right. Noticing what might come next is going to be a big hip opener. All right. So we're going to come at it really gently so you can take your time setting yourself up. You're going to, again, slide your right foot forward, or right knee, I should say, right behind your right wrist. And I want you to almost pick it up towards your center and kick out your heel underneath you. Let your shin soften down towards the floor without cranking on your ankle or your foot. Start to tuck your left toes behind you and scoot your left knee further back until you feel the sensation into your right hip. You can push into your hands to help lift up your chest. Lean over to your left and give yourself that same external rotation that you did before. Okay, so you're rolling your thigh wide. And then bring yourself back into the center. Breathe in, lift up your spine. When you breathe out, lower yourself down really slow. Check in with the sensation you feel. Then breathe in, push your hands again. Rise up through your spine like a wave. Exhale, slowly roll yourself down. Inhale to lift yourself up. Exhale, bend your elbows, roll yourself down. You can lower all the way down into your forearms. Focus on your breath, lifting your heart forward. If you're looking for sensation into your right glute, right into your piriformis. If this one still feels like too much for you, there's a little trick you can try with your knee. You can take your calf and just hook from underneath as you roll over onto your right hip and pull it down to her. You get that little pinch in your knee that could actually almost alleviate it. And then you can try again coming back down. We're going to take three more rounds of breath. Take a three-legged tabletop and like a fire hydrant motion, like a dog. Once you feel ready, come back to your neutral tabletop. Both hands and knees on the floor. Just pull in your low belly. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull your left knee up towards your left wrist. And then just kick your heel out away from you. Lower your um, chin down to the floor. Scoot yourself back so that you land in your hip. You can lean over and do that little external rotation. If your knee feels sensitive again, pull it in towards your center, pull your heel in. Or you can take your cap and roll it down. So you're getting this internal rotation. We're not going to roll it down just yet. We'll do the wave. Breathe in. Exhale, roll. This will get your system ready for it. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, soften in. Now, without labeling each side, better, worse, tighter, looser, see what you actually feel. Talk back to your body with your breath. That's your biggest tool here. Your ability to think is also a really good tool, but if it detaches you from your true self, what your body is trying to show you, you can quiet that chatter. Notice your breath and then come back to those sensations, even if it helps you to touch yourself. 
touch your shoulders, touch your neck, your face. Take three more. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Okay, scooch your right toes under. Bring your right knee closer in so you can slide your left leg out from underneath you. Come back to that tabletop with a little bit of circles to your hips, or you can fly your leg out to the side, rounding out in as big or as little of circles as you'd like. Once you've gotten that all out, come towards the front so you can actually have a seat. Scoot your heels one way. I'll show you from the side while Robin shows from the front. We're going to go into a wide-legged straddle. It doesn't have to be crazy wide at all. If you want to sit up on a pillow or a block, that might actually help your pelvis tilt more forward. Okay, so you can always try that. Or if you have your hands, you can push yourself forward to help lift your spine up long. Try kicking out through your heels, pulling your toes up. It's okay if your knees aren't straight, but just notice that, right? If your hamstrings are already starting to talk to you, you just stay right here and you breathe, you work on kicking out through your heels and letting your legs lengthen out. Otherwise, take a breath in, take a breath out, lean your spine forward. You can push through with your hands if you'd like to feel more in your inner thighs. We're going to take four rounds. Last one. Good. Breathe in and lift your spine back up. Hug your right foot in towards your center. Okay, your foot's going to go on the inside of your left thigh. When you take a breath in, sit all the way up. Take your left hand, put it on top of your right knee or your thigh. Take a breath in, reach your right arm all the way up. When you breathe out, lean into your left shoulder. The more you push down into your right thigh, you'll feel this whole side body stretch. If you want, you can hook your hand behind your head just to cradle it, protect your neck. Really lean into the support of your right thigh. Let that be your anchor. You might even feel a stretch into the back of your left shoulder. Stay for one more. Good. Breathe in. Come all the way up. Relax your grip. Take your hands to your knees. And you can do a little swiveling into your spine. See what that feels like. Or take a breath in to lift your heart up. Breathe out and round into your back. Come back to neutral. We'll try on the other side. Kick out your right foot. Hug your left foot in. Sit up tall when you breathe in. As you breathe out, right hand comes to your left knee or left side. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, take a side bend over to your right. Get this whole side body stretch. Notice how my knee starts to pick up. I might be a little bit far forward, but if I actually push down, it'll pull my bottom shoulder through. My ribs are stacked. The more you breathe, the more you feel. One more breath. Inhale, lift your spine all the way up. Relax your hands as you breathe out. Let's take both legs all the way up to the front. You can scoot your bum to the middle of your space. Grab your blocks if you like them for your rest. Take a breath in, lift your heart. Breathe out, round into your spine. You can use your hands to help lower you all the way onto your back. Once you land, walk your feet in, hug your knees in towards your chest. You can pull your knees out wide, get more into your inner thighs again, or you can take some small circles with them together. 
And then take a big inhale, pick yourself up, kiss your leg, ask yourself if there's anything else that you would like. Maybe it's one more twist. Maybe you'd like a bridge or something to help lift your hips. Otherwise, start to close your eyes. Take a breath in and a breath out as you actually lengthen out your legs and leave your arms down by your side. Let your eyes soften back into your skull. You don't have to control your breath anymore. You can let it be. I want you to work on finding absolute stillness. Let your body weigh heavy, relaxed, supported by the earth. Let yourself feel for just a few minutes. I'll be right here with you and I'll call you out when it's time. Let yourself rest. fingertips, touch your thumbs one at a time, feel your toes wiggle against each other, and as you pull in more fresh air, you can enliven the rest of your system, the rest of your body, 
taking your time, keeping your eyes soft, staying inward. Whenever you're ready, whatever way you want to go, take your reach, bend your knees, roll over onto one side of your mat, and find one more pause. Just a moment for gratitude and thankfulness. Think about that person that you dedicated your practice to. Give yourself that same love and gratitude. And then come and meet me in a seat. Spine long. Eyes can remain soft or you can start to take in some light. Bring your hands to your heart. Thumbs at your sternum. Take a big breath in. Open mouth exhale. Feel in that practice. Thank you so much for showing up. It's always a pleasure. No matter if rights or lefts are wrong. <laughs> From my heart to yours. Namaste. Oh, Christmas.